Ladies and gentlemen, happy Thanksgiving. That's the first thing. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you all are having a wonderful Thanksgiving day. It is a beautiful day for football. We have about eh, about an hour. So, you know, by the time this video gets uploaded, it'll be about 30 minutes before, you know, the or rather 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes before we get to the football portion of this weekend as basketball has absolutely dominated the first part of the week. Now we got the football portion. So Turkey Day is here. Um, honestly, best game of that slate, you know, uh, we'll talk about it in a moment. But yeah, week 11, uh, the Jets are bad, really, really bad. You know, I think we know this. Tim Boyle is now the quarterback. And, and Zach Wilson has been downgraded to QB3. It was rough against the Bills. And, you know, I thought, you know, maybe the Jets' defense would be able to, you know, do something. But ultimately, the offense is so putrid that the defense gave up. I don't blame the, I don't blame the Jets' defense at this point giving up. The, the offense is so bad, it's just not even funny. Um, Thursday night football continues to be a travesty and why it should only be played on Thanksgiving. Thursday football should only be a Thanksgiving thing, not anything else. Mark Andrews is done for the year. You know, now people are like, oh, well, it was a hip tackle. And now, now we got to ban the hip tackle. Stop it. Stop trying to make the game look like flag football. It's a hard hitting game. These guys know what they're signing up for. Joe Burrow. You know, the Bengals hid that his, you know, his wrist was hurting, and he hurt it even further. He had just came off an injury, remember, earlier in the season, and he's done for the year. Yeah. Not not good. And and the and the Ravens right now lead the AFC as the number one seed. So, you know, <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think. This far into year, the Ravens would be the number one seed in the East. And and why is that? Well, Kansas City, their receivers are a complete liability. How do you drop passes like this? MBS, Rashi Rice. I mean, guys, what's going on out here? How can we drop a pass against the Eagles? Eagles have looked like trash pretty much all season long, and yet the Eagles still have only one loss. I, I don't understand it. I genuinely do not understand it. You know, what I do understand is that Matt Canada's gone from Pittsburgh. That's good. But you couldn't stop Miles Garrett when it mattered. You couldn't stop the Browns with DTR when it mattered. So, yeah. Pittsburgh is still in a pretty good position, but the momentum's kind of gone a little bit. And last but not least, Jacksonville and Houston um, one of these two is going to win the South. One of these two is going to be a wild card team at this rate with the way these two teams have been playing. So, uh, but we'll talk about that because they play this week. And in fact, you know, we have, you know, one game tonight that looks very interesting. Of course, I'm going to watch my Cowboys, uh, but I'm going to start my Thanksgiving watching thanks festivities. We'll start them later. I'm not going to watch the Packers Lions for obvious reasons. The Packers are absolutely terrible. Yeah, they won against Chargers, whose defense they have to show up. At least they gotta they gotta try once, right? It's against Baltimore, right? You can stop Baltimore, right? Right, Chargers. Try that on Sunday night. Try that. Um, but yeah, Seattle. You know, um, the game against the 49ers, I posted it in the community tab. I don't think anybody's answered that question yet. Of who do you think is going to win that game? Um, yeah, the 49ers are starting to click again with Chase Young being added to that defense. Um, and Nick Bosa still tearing it up. You know, I mean, Seattle has a lot of work cut out for them. And it's, it's going to be a tough game tonight. It's going to be probably the best game of the, of the three games today. You know, Washington's not good. Green Bay, you know, is it good? Yeah, Joey Bosa's done for the year, you know, and everything too. Thanks, Packers, you know. So, yeah, there's that. Um, the Amazon Black Friday game, not going to be watching that. <laughs> not going to be looking at that at all. Um, that is certainly a thing. It involves the Jets. It will be a game against Miami, and we all know how that's going to go at this point. I mean, case in point, last week, bruh, the, the, the Bills. 
So I imagine that will be even worse for the Jets, to be quite honest with you. And then Sunday, again, the Broncos, you know, they upset the Vikings. Can we see them over 500 against a Browns team that has, again, the best defense in the NFL? Um, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh at this point, at this point, these two teams are, to me, in danger of missing the playoffs. Now, certainly Cincinnati is in danger with Joe Burrow's injury because we don't know what Trey Brody can really do. He hasn't done much, you know, in the NFL. Kenny Pickett has regressed completely, you know. He doesn't even look like the guy that did the fake slide anymore. He looks he looks like an amateur out there. So that will certainly be a game that's something. Again, the Jags Texans game that's going to be fantastic. CJ Stroud, Tank Dell, you know, a combination that's really good. I mean, on the other side, Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne, you know, them boys out in Duval, they are ready. And the AFC South is looking like it will have two playoff teams at this rate. Again, um, that game will be one of the best games of the Sunday slate, I think. And then later, you know, you have the Eagles trying to yet again take it down another AFC East power. They already beat the Dolphins. Uh, the Bills still reeling. Don't let that Jets game fool you. They're still reeling. They don't have a defense because of the injuries. And Josh Allen is still Josh Allen. So, you know, he's still... He's, 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 the, the Bills the Bills' problem is is not just Josh Allen. It's, you know, it's a defense that, you know, hasn't been very good, you know, throughout the entire season because of the injuries. But Josh Allen is definitely a part of the problem. It's a 50-50 kind of thing, you know. So um, the NFC South will likely be our seventh seed sacrifice this year. Um so, you know, Desmond Ritter has to get the starting nod again for Atlanta. So he's he's back as the starter. And the game against the Saints is going to be for first place in the South. Again, usually one of the two seven seeds that we've had so far in the 14-team playoff format has been pretty much a sacrificial lamb. And I think this year it will go to whoever wins the NFC South. That will be our sacrificial lamb at this point for a game that's completely non-competitive. I imagine the AFC. I imagine the AFC seventh seed will have a better game against the two seed, but for all intents and purposes, you know, I think this will be the NFC South will be our seventh seed victim this year. That's what I'm thinking at this point. So yeah. Turkey Day is almost here. I'm gonna get this uploaded in about I don't know, like five to ten minutes you know i will enjoy you know chilling until the arizona michigan state game and then the cowboys game and then you know we're gonna have a grand old time later on tonight you know with all the football you know a little bit of basketball you know if you watch the maui invitational you know that was fun um yeah it's gonna be one hell of a weekend can't wait to continue with the festivities you know so we get on the battle of y'all's hair, and I will see you all um, next week, <laughs> next Tuesday. So, y'all, again, have a good Thanksgiving. Blessed to be with y'all for another Thanksgiving. Yeah. And if you're traveling, stay safe. You know, eat all the Thanksgiving food you can. I don't like Thanksgiving food, so that's why I don't eat it. So, 